Okay, g'day and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. This is the Whites and Greys tournament run by Millenwise. This is the second game with a Rivian Adventurer and a Fergus 1080 up in the top and versus Twyblade and a Deadeye. They've pretty much chosen the same sides. Um, looks like the thousand players versus the lower 900 and 600 players um, did I once again going um, pink and Aeon um, getting those first two mixes and an engineer out and Twyblade in Cybron seems fairly typical then Rivian this time in UEF, so same as last time, interestingly, and Fergus in Cybron. So we've got Aeon vs Cybron and um, UEF vs Cybron, and it's pretty much exactly the same the way they played the last game. So this is Certus Major, well known map, um, talked about it before. Um, get that first um, hydrocarbon and then have a yeah they're doing the air factory first which is always I think a bit of a risk I, I've found that um, a bit complicated um, to manage the energy requirements thereof in the past uh, looks like um, Deadeye is getting his command up here and uh, Twyblade is also moving up uh, and we've got a, a little land scout um, if you do the cheeky thing and position the land scout on one of the mixes so an engineer can't take it if they're doing it blind um, with the Commander coming up, that doesn't really work so well because uh, you can't hide from an Omni. <coughs> so, we've got a Striker and Scout out here and they're going to try to position themselves down here to catch that Engineer. Uh, can they get, to get through that gap in time before the... Um, commander gets in range that's going to be a tricky thing of course we've got a bunch of hunters coming up and naturally tripping over the commander's feet and yes they get through Deadeye going for the sensor suite again so he's definitely keen on that as an option um, can he afford it in the power stakes um, He's got a factory going down here. It certainly needs uh, more of that reclaim there. Um, getting a bit of an assistance um, to divert more resources into that. And the hunters find the scout and uh, the, so the tank and the tank is taken out. So that raid probably took out at least one engineer Let's see if we can find I think that's the uh, the wreck of him there um, but doesn't look like maybe that is uh, doesn't look like it got much further Fly blade going for a PD always a bit risky here you've got reasonably clear range but it's not beautifully flat terrain. There's a few places that units can hide. Um, and he's going for the Zephamp gun upgrade. Uh, we've got a couple of cheeky hunters coming in here, but a tank has spotted them. Uh, and it's probably just going to hunt them down and kill them there. Can... Uh, Twyblade get the upgrade done in time. He's got two engineers assisting him, so I'd say yes, mainly because he's going to run out of everything else. We've got the gun upgrade going down for Deadeye as well, um, which is a good option. Um, 
We're building a lot of idle factories and not a heck of a lot of power for Deadeye here. Uh, and that probably spells doom at some point in the future. Um, and yep, he's <laughs> storing 852. At least with the commander upgrade done, he's, uh, that's down to a more reasonable 160. But uh, still, uh, that didn't look good. So, um, twi um, Deadeye can easily see uh, everything on this plateau now. He knows not to start moving stuff up. Fergus hasn't got any upgrades on his comm. And Deadeye can keep him at range and just pick those things off. Uh, so that's going to be very interesting to see how he uses that. Doesn't have a lot of backup there. He's got factories going down here. Uh, and yes, finally we're starting to see power generators being built. Uh, Full-on converse combat here. Uh, Rivian being forced to back off. Um, can Rivian block um, Twiblade enough? With his command, it looks like Rivian is going to be hunted down and killed by that Zephant gun com. Um, and that's not going to be a happy day. Uh, the unfortunately, Rivian's forces all die in the, um, the battle as well. I've been in that position many times myself, Rivian, Commander so I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's run twi blade uh so I do sympathize uh that's a different difficult one to judge there now the question is we've got a second gun com here um he's got enough power if we're still watching twi blade Commander under um attack. can he hunt down that Commander, um, and looks like, ooh, interesting. Um, Fergus has got a gunship out. That's going to be very difficult to dislodge, especially because um, Dead Eyes. Uh, and he's got a couple of a few. Um, anti-air guns, but those renegades are going to make short work of them. And we've got a few more coming in now. Um, can he take them down in time? Um, Rubian, sorry, Deadeye getting a Seeker, um, and that's going to make it much more difficult. Yep, there's the Seeker online, and we've got further air support coming in um, so those uh, gunships uh, as good as they are that was uh, going to be a fun bit of surprise but uh, having a few air units in your army has made all the difference for dead eye there Fire blade now with uh, in a very similar situation to about minute 30 in the previous game where De uh, Rivian had unfortunately been killed uh, and um, we've got a raiding party in the back of Fergus's base um, looks like a, a, a scout a wayward scout got hit by the um, anti-air there in there in the center um, got the shield going up um, and that's a generally good plan for a gun com because you're not invulnerable uh, Fergus making good use now of his um, gunships to take out those raids uh, with a few interceptors being sent in from Blade though, that's going to make their lives a bit more difficult. Hope, hopefully they can fly over some anti-air and it doesn't look like Fergus has got any. That's a bit of a bit of a shame. Uh, no, he's got a, um, a Corsair online that's uh, going to take out those in some arbitrary period of time. Um, 
if it gets around to it and feels like it, you know. Um, second one online, so that air factory being heavily assisted there. And we've got anti-air going up. We've got good air protection. Uh, but what's our plan against a range gun com uh, with shield here and a good force of units? Um, toy blade really kind of not making as much of the opportunity to take Rivian's base at this point. Um, I'm wondering what he's up to really there. Is he? He doesn't have a an air factory. Um, oh, it does have an air factory there, um, but it's not upgrading, so he's not going for a T2 transport, which could drop the commander into that base. Um, it would be a really good idea. Yes, can they edge build it down there? No, they can't. They're going to give it a good go there, aren't they? What are they up to? He's trying to get an edge build there, I can sense it. Uh, and unfortunately, it's just not the right terrain at that point. So, let's wander a bunch of ed engineers over there. Um, we've got uh, Tech 2 engineers now being built, and more uh, more on the way. Um, and now we've got enough units that Deadeye can um, get in range. He's going to take out that radar, which is a really good, easy first strike, and that makes it more difficult for Fergus to see what's going on. I've uh, got enough air units mixed in there to not be able to to not make it easy to get our Corsair snipe um, and with a shielded gun commander um, he's got certainly got enough options there um, to stay alive unless um, unless Fergus can really get a, about a dozen of those um, online Fergus how are you doing for resources. Well, he's doing pretty well at the moment. He's getting a bit of reclaim done there. He's got engineers there that could be hoovering up mass, but then just sitting idle at the moment, and uh, their place is going to be taken by uh, these engineers right here, um, some of whom are al already get getting anti air turrets online, and probably have plans for a few more. So what, what options do we have here? Um, are you going to see some cheeky reclaims? How are we going up here? And now the assault on um, Fergus's base has started with those fervors in range. Um, Mantis and yes, uh, Fergus is starting to reclaim those uh, before they were uh, noticed, and uh, that um, those Fergus's engineers will take those out. Uh, he better have a bit, a few more defences uh, than than that, though, because he's got a horde of uh, T1 units coming in. Um, Fergus tries an experimental um, Corsair snipe and doesn't do very much with it. Um, and they're now going to hide around here. Are they going to come in and attack, hit the commander? Yes, I think he's going to try for a Corsair snipe. Um, and with that many flak in the way it's just going to be doom and gloom all round I'm afraid. It does take out the shield, uh, the, the um, portable shield and the um, and gets hit by the, the Corsair Rec 2 just to, to add insult to injury. 
Um, but now the uh, the horde of Fervors and T1 are starting to um, get into Fergus's base. Um, they're going to uh, not get very far with that commander there. The commander does not have any upgrades. Um, so it is going to be able to hold most of that at bay, but that horde of Phobos there. Uh, and look at that, we've got some insongs to uh, start missiling everything in sight. Uh, we've got some anti-air going down there. You really need some um, uh, zappers much further forward to take out those missiles. Uh, and I think the writing's on the wall here, Fergus. Uh, good game. I like the use of those air units, but he's uh, pretty much lost everything there. Uh, and now the um, Serpentine's um, coming in to just pick off everything else that moves. Uh, and they're going to have a great day just cleaning up everything in... Um, Fergus's base, so everything moves then and everything that doesn't. Um, the big question is how much can Fergus dodge at this point? Um, and what's his dodge strategy? Uh, let's just watch that for a bit. Um, so let's see if um, uh, those Fervors are targeting, uh, at some point they'll probably target um, Fergus and then his dodging will come in useful, but otherwise these, they're just pretty much making a, a beeline to take out that last mass extractor. Um, so it's basically a complete denial of resources on Fergus at this point. And we're probably going to go up to plus two just to finish this game off now. Um, Fergus attacking those um, even songs, uh, which is a really bad place for them to be, really. Just don't even bother sending them into the middle of an, a battle. They're much better off staying uh, outside. And just to finally add salt into the wound we've got a Corsair Snipe a very slow gradual and rather boring Corsair Snipe going going to take out uh, Twyde um, Fergus um, with Twyde Blade uh, uh, definitely uh, wanting to add insult there uh, that's a pretty good game um, I did miss exactly what turned the tables here. I don't I don't know exactly why Rivian was suddenly caught out there. Um he uh he was facing a superior commander with a Zephamp, um and so if that's uh if you if uh you find yourself in that position your only hope is to as I <laughs> as I've been uh, your only hope is to try and uh, get that enough troops in front of that commander to slow them down to keep your commander out of range um, because they will just hunt you down uh, so otherwise that's a pretty good game and that makes it two games to nil for Fergus so for Deadeye and Twyblade uh, <laughs> reading from the top of my scoreboard uh, and so they advance to the next round. So we will see you later.